flat out, flat out, flat out. This is Kirk telling you all, what's up? Hi, that's what it is. Say your piece on the crucible. 6 to 8.30 on Sunday evenings. Phone Luther Brown at 736-5293 and tell him you want to talk. It's a youth thing. Yo, call. Express yourself. It's not an old thing. It's not a young thing. It's a youth thing. Youth thing on the crucible. 6 to 8.30 Sunday evening. Hear you when I hear ya. Hey. We out. And the way music we on the way. And the way music we on the way. And the way music we on the way. Aye, seven minutes ago it was six o'clock. Good, 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 good evening to you. My name is Luther Brown. First Sunday of 1993, right? You hear a thing about the youth thing, huh? You're hearing new introductions too, man. Well, it's a new year when we're doing some new things and trying to get some new things happening inside your head size, huh? Well, we've made one reservation on the Crucible, and the Crucible reserves that at about 6.30 every Sunday evening, you will hear a young voice giving commentary on some of life experiences. And so if you listen to the jingle one more time, because we're going to kick it in some, huh? Flat out, flat out, flat out. This is Kirk telling you all, what's up? Hi, that's what it is. Say your piece on the crucible. 6 to 8.30 on Sunday evening. Phone Luther Brown at 736-5293 and tell him you want to talk. It's a youth thing. Yo, call. Express yourself. It's not an old thing. It's not a young thing. It's a youth thing. Youth thing on the crucible. 6 to 8.30 Sunday evening. Here you want to hear ya. Hey. Hey. Yeah. about today is the talent of Toronto. There are a lot of talented young people in Toronto that haven't been given the chance to show their talent. But if they had been living in the United States, just by singing on a street corner, someone would see them and give them the opportunity to demonstrate what they're good at. Toronto doesn't have enough talent shows or competitions the youth could enter. If they do have shows, agents or scouts aren't there to see what Toronto has to offer. In that case, the performers are performing in vain. We shouldn't have to go to the United States to be seen. Canada is just as big and powerful of a country to promote their own talent. Another thing is, the few Canadian entertainers that actually make it to the top don't stay there for too long. And why is it, if you were to ask an American about a Canadian artist, a majority of the times they don't have the slightest idea who you're talking about. But if you were to ask a Canadian about an American artist, most of the time, they could tell you the whole history of the person. All this ain't right. All you Canadian promoters should go to the little community benefits and see what they have to offer. I can guarantee you that you'll find someone you like, from rappers to dancers to singers, even to comedians. They're all out there in front of your eyes, but you just don't see it. A majority of the youth getting themselves in trouble today have hidden talents, and if they got the chance to show it, it would keep them off the streets. If they would just realize that they could make triple times the money by using their talents and selling drugs, the world would be a better place today. Yeah, 642. It's a youth thing. <laughs>